Hello and welcome to another problem solving session on congruent triangles. In this question, it's given that AC, this is AC, AC is equal to AE, AB is equal to AD, AB is equal to AD. Okay, looks like this is an isosceles triangle. I don't know whether that is going to be useful, but let's check. BAD is equal to EAC angles, BAD, so it's shown here, BAD is equal to angle EAC. We have to prove that BC is equal to DE. So first find out BC. Where is BC? This is BC. This is BC. And this is DE. So we have to prove that these two are equal. Okay. So again, as we have been discussing so far, whenever there are two parts of a triangle to be proven to be equal, the best way we know or one of the ways, best ways we know is to prove that they are congruent parts of congruent triangles, right? We just need to identify the two triangles properly and as well as prove the congruence, establish the congruence between the two triangles. Automatically, the desired result comes. So let's find out which are the triangles of which are the triangles whose part is BC and DE. So BC clearly is a part of triangle ABC, isn't it? looks like the base of ABC and DE is part of two triangles one is DAE as well as DCE right but if you see on the left side of DE we have more information in terms of the angles being equal and other things but that's not the you know um, not, not by any certainty we can see that only left hand side of DE whatever is there is going to be useful but looks like it's that's how intuition is built up and hence we utilize those information. So if we somehow prove that BAE, this triangle, is congruent to BAC, then automatically their bases, in this case DE and BC, will become equal. So that's what we need to do. How to prove that those two triangles are equal? So some given information is going to be helpful for us. So the two sides. So this side AB of ABC, look clearly and very closely, ABC has this side AB and ADE has this side AD again. Now we have been given that AB is equal to AD. So this becomes useful. Similarly, this part of AC of this triangle ABC, this side is equal to this side of D A E. So I hope you are able to see these two triangles. These are the two triangles. I'll draw them here. This is A B C. And our A D C is something like this. This is A D. And this goes to E. So this is E and this is D. Okay. So this is A. This is D and this is E. So if you now look closely, this is equal to this, right? And this side is equal to this side. It's already given. AC is equal to AE. Check. And we have to just see whether these two angles are also equal. Then our job is done. If you look closely, guys, it's given that, you know, if I draw, uh, if I have to draw here, this was my AD, isn't it? And here, if you draw, this is this goes like that so this is this goes to c in this diagram check so clearly this angle was given to be equal to this angle and if you look closely this angle is common in both of them right so what i'm saying is check here this angle is equal to this angle already given and if i add this this one to first this one so i'll get this full now this full is also equal to this full and hence our angle a in this case and a here will be equal okay i hope you got from this image so let me now uh, remove uh, these parts so that it becomes easier for you to understand okay so yeah. so now i am going to take away these things so the diagram will be a little clearer to you
okay so let me also take away this so these are not required any further just it was just for understanding okay so now let's begin the proof so how to prove it so uh, i will say i will say angle a b d is equal to angle uh, c a e given c a e this is given here right this is given the moment this is given i can add one angle to both what is that a d b a c so i'm going to do this look carefully a b d plus angle d a c i'm going to add this angle to both sides d a c plus angle c a e now the moment why do i do this because the moment i did that i got what a b d or a uh, i'm sorry this should not be a b d my bad this should be b a d b a d b a d right so sorry for that so this is b a d b a b a right now if you check b a d plus d a c is how much angle b a c and here d a c plus d a e d a c sorry plus c a e these are the two angles getting added this will be angle d a e hope this is clear right d a e this is established now huh? let's come to proving the congruence part okay now take triangle a or rather b a c and triangle b a e these are the corresponding vertices in that order b a c b a e what do we know a b a is equal to d a isn't it it's given it's given here right a b is equal to a d also a c a c is equal to a e given this is also given check here and we just proved from here we can say angle b a c is equal to angle b a e okay therefore conclusion therefore triangle b a c is congruent to triangle d a e check the order of the vertices once again b is corresponding to d correct a corresponds to a correct c corresponds to e very good so this is correct therefore therefore what can you conclude you can conclude that b c the corresponding sides must be equal so b c must be equal to d e so hence i can say b c is equal to d e isn't it this is what we needed to establish and we got it okay so one thing is uh, what is to be noted here is that you know there was one common element common angle which was added to make the two vertex angle equal right so this is you know keep this in mind so there will be many such cases where two different angles this one and this one are equal and then the moment you add this common x these two triangles become equal as well that was one of the learning in this session okay